Hey everybody, it's Dave from Clean Pro Supply, and we're gonna talk about peroxides in this video, the different uses, strengths, dilution ratios, and where to use them. So to start off, we have our CPS chemical Mad Max. This is primarily used for urine. It's one of our best-selling products for urine treatment. This is about a 3.5% peroxide, among other ingredients as well. It's gonna fight stains, odors, and it's gonna clean really, really well too. We even have some customers that use this as a pre-spray or as a pre-spray booster just for regular carpet cleaning but primarily designed for urine treatment. Uh, residential, commercial, whatever you need, but of course, primarily residential. This concentrate gallon will make four gallons. The, the rough dilution ratio is about one to four. You could mix a little bit stronger. You can dilute it down a little bit more if needed, but one to four is kind of that sweet spot with this product here. Uh, stepping up to our CPS Chemical Scorpion. This is a 7.9% uh, stabilized peroxide. Also used for carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, drapes, whatever you need. Uh, that's a, a normal residential fabric. This is gonna dilute about one to one. You could use it straight if needed, but one to one to maybe one to two is pretty much the primary dilution ratio. Uh, this is gonna be used primarily for just regular organic stains, blood. You can also use it for urine, grass stains, uh, anything else that's caused by organic uh, matter or organic material, uh, and you have to remove the stain from carpet, upholstery, or whatever. Uh, so the 7.9% stabilized peroxide is a great product for carpet cleaners to use. Stepping up a notch, again, we have our CPS Chemical Rattler. This is a 19.8% stabilized peroxide, so much stronger than this one. And this is primarily used for restoration, and even the pressure washing contractors are using it too. Uh, in the restoration industry, it's gonna be used for mold, mildew, algae. It's really gonna attack that real heavy. You can use this straight, you can mix it one to one, one to two, one to three, one to four. You can dilute it all the way down and use it for carpet if you want, but just make sure you have the proper PPE because this is a very strong peroxide, mostly used for restoration. For those of you that are doing pressure washing and you do wood cleaning, uh, this can uh, brighten wood fences, barns, uh, you know, anything that has cedar or any kind of natural wood that you want to brighten, uh, this will brighten that really, really well too. Um, you can also use it for algae cleaning, uh, roof washing. There's a wide variety of things you can use this for. But again, any, any intense organic stain removal or if you have to kill any organic material, this is going to work really good for that. Uh, coming up over to this powder, this is our Oxy Boost. This is primarily used for carpet cleaners uh, as a booster to their pre-spray. You can also mix up a slurry and use it to treat spots as needed. Uh, but it's primarily a sodium percarbonate product that's gonna release hydrogen peroxide as it's mixed with the water and it's dwelling and it's doing its thing. Um, this is gonna be a really good product just to brighten, clean, and deodorize the carpet, but it can also be used as a spotter if you make a slurry out of it. So a little bit of a different approach than our liquid hydrogen peroxides, but the way the uh, sodium percarbonate works is it releases hydrogen peroxide. And then this, all, this product actually also has delimonene in it, uh, which is like a citrus booster. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds of the oxy and the citrus with the delimonene. You can actually see that this label is peeling just a smidge on the sides, and that's because the delimonene is actually coming through the, the container a little bit, and that's releasing the adhesive on the label. So even though these are really good labels, that's kind of how you know you've got a really good product is when labels won't even really stick too well to the product because it's kind of seeping through that plastic. All these are gonna work great on organic stains, just different approaches. Uh, people have different preferences. We do have carpet cleaners that use this and then they use it kind of for everything, just at different dilution ratios. Although if you're primarily doing carpet cleaning, I would probably stick to one of these two or this one uh, just because it's safer. Uh, this one, you definitely wanna make sure you're wearing proper PPE because it is 19.8% and it could be very dangerous if you get it on your skin or in your eyes. Hopefully this answers some questions as far as uh, you know what you guys are curious about in regards to the, to the different types of peroxide products. And just to recap, this is about 3.5%, 7.9% and then 19.8%. Not sure the percentage of this because it just depends on how much you're using, but this does also release the hydrogen peroxide uh, from the sodium percarbonate when you're using it. And then it also has the delimiting in it. If you guys have any more questions beyond anything that I've just talked about, feel free to comment below in this video and I'll respond there or give us a call here at the store. Happy to help. Take care.